Hello and welcome back to Inside MHS. Yes, we're excited to be back with you guys. We haven't done a newscast with Tribe TV in a while. Yes, so thanks for letting us come back. Michael, did you go to prom? I did. I hung out with you and we had a lot of fun dancing. I can't believe I forgot that we hung out the entire time. I know. I passed out. Oh. If you did not go, there was some pretty amazing DJs there. Make sure you go next year. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, they were pretty great, weren't they? Yeah, well, enough about us and our awesome, amazing DJs. Let's shoot it over to sports with Leighton and Xavier. Hey, thanks, guys. Welcome to sports. Let's start out with softball. The softball team took their first loss this season, and they have lost to the label high school of the score of 9-6. The Indians now sat... Sit at 5-1 and one in the season, and they look back to the win the column when they face off against Grant County and the CIC rivals. They'll kill Golden Eagles. The varsity team will play at 5 p.m., and the JV team will follow immediately. Make sure you go to support the Indians at Oak Hill. Yes, the softball team has started off hot. The baseball team will also play at Oak Hill tonight at 5 p.m. They took a loss this past week to West Northwestern by a score of 9-1. to one. The baseball team sits at 3-4 and four at on the season and it looks to continue their strong season. Let's support both of our teams at Oak Hill tonight. Moving on, the Indians track team. They just came off with a strong performance at three-way meet against Franklin and Blackford the, this past Tuesday. Several Indians are fighting to make it to the state finals this year. Unfortunately, if you want to support them anymore this year, you'll have to travel as all their mates are on the road from now on. The girls tennis team has also started off very well. They sit at 4-1 and one on the season. They just beat Wabash 5-0 to zero and now look forward to Elwood coming into town tomorrow evening at 4.30 p.m. Maddie Fique leads the team as they look to take on another strong run to regionals. That is all for sports this week. Don't forget to continue to check the website for all the details on times and dates. Now, let's shoot over to weather to see what our spring weather is coming in. Welcome to weather. I am Dalton, and let's see how it is going to be this week and next. And I am Shay. Starting off, we will see a high of 82 degrees today and a low of 48. This is the hottest day of the week, so make sure you go out there and get some sun. Tomorrow we'll drop down to a high of 55 degrees and a low of 42. We will see some chances of rain all day, so make sure you wear a jacket. Going to the weekend, the temperature as well actually gets slightly colder. We will have a high of 50 in, on Saturday and only and only and only a high of 46 on Sunday. There will be some there will be some sun and hopefully not too cold. Next week goes back up to the mid 50s and low 60s on Monday and Tuesday. Spring weather looks like it is here, but with some random Indiana weather days thrown in. Oh. Enjoy the warm weather today. <laughs> well, like <laughs> back to the desk. Thanks for that, guys. I sure do love the warm weather. Yeah, so do I. What are you looking forward to doing in the summer, Peyton? Well, I'm actually looking forward to getting a job and then just hanging out with some friends and family all summer. Yeah, so. that's my last summer before I have to go into the workforce, so I'm going to try to enjoy it while I can. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, let's move on to this week's special segment. This week, Mr. and Mrs. Daniels went on an adventure to Science Central in Fort Wayne. Let's see what, they, what went on there. Hi there. Thanks for joining us. I'm here today with a very special person at a very, very special place. Mrs. Daniels. Yeah. Where the heck are we? We are at Science Central. So, 
this is obviously where you worked back when I was really, really young. Uh, I had a cot back in your office. I remember we had a cat named Wendell that we got lost in here a couple different times. Yep. Lots of crazy memories in this museum. And this is where you worked before you taught, right? Or did you teach before this? I did teach for a little bit before that. I taught actually here in Fort Wayne at Carroll High School, Carroll Middle School, and I taught at Southern Wells. And uh, then I went off to Kansas, worked in Kansas for a year as a daycare director. Hardest job ever. Um, and wanted to get the heck out of Kansas, so I saw this pop up and was like, hey, let's give it a try. And I love to write, and it let me do a lot of the writing that I love to do. I want to know your background in Science Central, right? In creating those exhibits, creating museums, that kind of non-traditional education that we talk about, learning outside of the classroom. How has that affected how you approach teaching now? I think it, it really did change everything about how I taught. Uh, you know, Science Central, uh, one of our original mottos was hands-on, minds-on. And the idea that, you know, you learn best when you get to do stuff. And, you know, it's when you engage your hands and your body and your mind all together that science becomes real and something that is exciting and relatable and you know here you know students can come and try out the different exhibits and you know rather than just writing down the definition of centripetal force uh you can get on the exhibit and get dizzy and actually feel it it was something that it makes sense when you were out here when you were doing the things what was your absolute favorite thing to work on what really just like sparked your imagination Probably one of my favorite things to do was the demonstration theater. I and remember the demonstration yes. theater. So we had several demonstrations that we would do. And uh, one of them was cow eye dissection. Gross. And on any typical day, I would dissect anywhere from 10 to 14 eyeballs. And uh, students just thought it was the coolest thing. And it was it was really fascinating to show people like all the, the shiny and, and bits and parts inside of an eyeball. And it was very fun. And then the other one was, remember, the frozen nitro the frozen uh, bananas. And, and yeah, so we had liquid nitrogen. I knew she was going to talk about this one. Do you yeah. want to tell them the special story about my experience with the liquid nitrogen? Oh, I think you should tell it. Science Central is a very, very unique building. Uh, just from looking at it, we have these kind of transformer looking guys right on these pedestals, but also there's something else really unique about this building that makes it easy to pick out from the street. Well, if you've ever been in Fort Wayne and driven down Clinton Street, you've probably seen the smokestacks. And the smokestacks, from the very, very earliest stages before it was even open, was decided we were going to paint them different colors of the rainbow. And so that sort of became sort of a signature of Science Central and so all of our all of our pictures and programs and signage has those smokestacks up there and so then as you can see like this building used to be the city light and power building which again oh, yeah, right yeah, we thought that was so cool because we were bringing light and power to students through science and oh, math I get it Overall, if somebody was going to come and they were going to check out Science Central, why should they? Well, I think you should come and check it out. One, because it's fun. It's it is fun. fun. And also, all those things that you've probably learned in science that was really boring, that you just copied definitions out of the book, you can come here and experience it. And you can experience it with your friends and your family and just have a great time doing it. And thank all of you. Have a great rest of your ish class. Uh, ish, don't ish, get in too much ish. trouble. And Indian pride. Woo! That was pretty cool. Science is awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to go to Science Central myself. Now, let's move on to the important things to know for the week. Yeah, take it away, guys. Welcome to announcements. FCA will meet in Mr. Cunningham's classroom this Friday at 7 a.m. Spanish Club meets today from 2.30 to 4-ish. Spanish Club go to Google Classroom and vote on the best movie to watch, bring snacks. 
Next year, the Grant County Regional Career Center will be piloting a program for a student from Mississinawa High School to earn their CDL license. The student must be a current junior. This program will be housed at the GRCC. This program is limited to one student per county school at the time, so it will be very competitive to get into. Please email Ms. Resch if you are interested. Students who are volunteering for the Westview Spring Carnival this Friday, April 21st, an email has been sent to you from Ms. Marshall with important information. Seniors, you'll be able to pick up your cap and gown Friday, April 21st during all four lunch periods. That is all for news for the week. Back to the desk. Man, that was some good information there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, really. <laughs> thanks for that, guys. Yeah, it really was. I love info. They only really have five weeks left of school after today. Michael, how do you feel that you only have that much time left in high school? I'm kind of nervous. I can feel my remaining childhood years dripping away. But wow, that's some deep stuff, man. <laughs> make sure you, we keep pushing strong for these final weeks. Yes, make sure that we finish strong. Well, thanks again for joining us today, everyone. Have a great week, Indian Nation. Back to the dead.